whatever, you know, what you're saying is, is, is really based on what we had a, a, a we had a topic on before, which was the lack there of. There is no community. Right. There is no community. Exactly. Because it's not what we have. Exactly. So if we had that mentality, and then I'm going to take it a step further, you know, what we're really missing is martyrism. See, and I'm going to go back to the police situation just because, you know, <laughs> when you're willing to die for what you believe in, that also gets Europeans' attention. That gets the police' attention. When the motherfucker says, yo, <laughs> You understand? Like, I think you just made the do not cry list, bro. <laughs> Probably so. Yeah, that's what you want. Fuck it. When you, when you do this here, fuck it. What? When you do that, you get there to, oh shit. You know what I mean? Uh, uh-huh. You understand? Yeah. We got to get back into that mindset. You know what I mean? Because the more of that that we have, like in the Panther days and the Black Power movements, Yo, cats were dying. However, they were dying with dignity and for a cause. That's, that's, that's the point of the matter is to teach. My son right now know what I'm about. And he also knows that I'm willing to die for the cause. We talked about it on numerous occasions. I don't have a problem with that. You know what I'm saying? If we get to a, a point where it's organized uh, revolution, I'm there. I don't have a problem with that. That's why we're doing what we're doing right now. With the, with the dialogue. It's to wake our people up. To get our people together. You understand? So yes, I'm willing to do that. And then my son will take that from there. That's how you start lineages. And you, you know what I mean? You pass it down. And you get them to have the same ideology. Yo, this is what I have to do for my child. This is what I have to do for our children. Mm. And I'm talking about black children. Even the ones that's not just biologically, they still are kids. Mm-hmm. You understand? Um, like, yes, absolutely. By far. <laughs> In the community sense, which we don't have. <laughs> you feel me? That's what I'm saying. This shit must stop. This shit must stop. It's not going to stop until we do something to stop it. All right, that I agree. I'm sorry. Yeah. No, I agree. I agree. <laughs> you understand? Yeah, cross your fingers ain't working. No. no. Open, praying. Mm-hmm. No. Oh, I'm not saying don't pray. Right, yeah. right, right. Oh, yes, yes, we must do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta pray. Right. 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 You gotta pray. Absolutely. You know what Absolutely. I'm saying? Faith, faith without works is it's it. unbelievable. And and most of our people are not understanding that. You know, listen. And and, and, and I'm gonna just chop it off. At the I just think about what you're saying. Like, you know, one thing you know, you, people gotta understand is that when there's extreme growth, there's extreme poverty. It's all they go, they go hand in hand. You can't have one without the other. You know what I'm saying? So, you know. But, um, yeah, I think about what you said earlier, like, far as you said, taking a lesson to two evils. Not that I was, uh, I guess I was saying, I'm going to clear that I was advocating for somebody to die. I was advocating for somebody to be a man. Like, you know what I mean? Deal with humans all the same. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, when does, when does, uh, when does uh, uh you know what i mean this this kind of wrong it's almost like the king syndrome per se like you would treat a judge better than you treat the old lady next door to your house yeah, like you know what i mean where, where, where is it like where does it like the, the respect i mean just on a human level you know what i'm saying on a human level everybody should be respected the same right you know what i'm saying on a human level that's what i'm talking about i want to talk about oh you sitting there challenging them creating a situation for yourself that's going to come out bad for you and i'm talking about just giving somebody beyond respect that you know you don't give yourself that respect you know what i mean you know what i mean you don't give your neighbors that respect you don't give your wife that respect you don't respect your children that way some stranger and his respect is is really fear is out of intimidation you know what I'm saying? So, like, you know, that's that's what I'm advocating for us not to fall in that. Like, you know, that's where the castration comes in at because it never lets you develop into your own as a man. You know what I'm saying? And what the fear comes from a lynching, essentially. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's that's more or less what I was speaking to per se than like somebody, you know, just rebel rousing unnecessarily at a traffic stop and all that type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? If that's gonna be you, then 
know what's coming out of it and do it how you gonna deal with it. I'm not gonna tell nobody what to do, but you know what I'm saying? But ultimately I said this whole question of injustice, man, I think we I could talk to the side, go down and come back up with it. You know what I'm saying? It just it, it, it's it's so much going on, man. I just hope at this present time in history, momentum keeps building. Momentum, momentum. Everybody's black this week. I said it earlier. Mm-hmm. I hope they remain black. You know what I'm saying? Because that's I don't want this uh this riot syndrome. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I want a sustained effort on our behalf to, to tackle injustice. That's just what I want. I want to see that. I don't want everybody mad. Boom, boom, boom. As soon as something die down, so we get a, a flowery speech from a politician or two, and you know all these uh, these opportunities coming out of the weed works now. I'm looking at Snoop and all these dudes. Oh, they want to lead demonstrations and all this. Like you know what I mean? Like you know, like now the revolution won't be televised. They say right. Uh, and now, now hey, they come out the weed works trying to co-opt the movement. You know what I mean? This is some bullshit. You know what I mean? You trying to steal the youth thunder. Let them go out there. Let them demonstrate. Let them march. And I was and I was good even after the cops got killed. People out demonstrating, marching. You know what I mean? Holding up traffic, doing everything they can. Doing everything they can, trying to raise consciousness to police brutality. You know what I'm saying? So you know what I mean? I'm happy. You know what I mean? Like, you know I haven't been happy in a while. I'm happy, but happy for our people. The fact that we just out there doing something, man. It, you know, it's just it's. It gives me a, a forward feeling, you know what I'm saying, that, you know, that don't don't come along often, that something unites us and that we're willing to fight, you know what I mean, fight for it, you know what I'm saying? I got to disagree with you a little bit. Okay. When I watch the news, I see a lot of, call, I see more call cases out there than me, than us. Well, I mean, it's better than news you want to yeah. watch, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. you got to look at the demonstration is throughout every city, you know what I mean, you know, we can't okay. just relegate it to a city, and I would tell people, Look at like democracy now, you know what I mean? Look at uh, RT, you get a different mm-hmm. slant on the news mm-hmm. and CNN mm-hmm. and uh, MBS, NBC, Fox News, oh, uh, Zach, Fox News, uh, uh, Zach, yeah. Yeah, Zach, you gotta look at, you yeah, know, yeah. different, and even underground news circuits that's on YouTube or whatever, you know what I'm saying? That gives you more of a balance of who's out there. But, you know, just people mad and trying to see like people trying to get together and people I know calling people together trying to do little things so it's just you know what i mean just to see us trying to move in the right direction you know what i'm saying do it's, something get involved yeah you have involved, to yeah. you know what i mean they say start and start a prairie fire man like you yeah. know what i mean you, but like you said don't just don't let it be temporary it's exactly. always temporary don't let it be emotional <laughs> you know what you mean? Mean? that's where it comes from it becomes yeah, it's always you know what temporary saying? like this just needs to be permanent exactly. until the shit stops until it stops you feel me? Yeah, absolutely. I think we need to get back on, on like it back was in the six, just black love. You know what I mean? That's I think that's <laughs> something that we have to keep going. Yeah, you absolutely. know what I mean? Where we start speaking to our neighbors. Mm-hmm. We start asking, how you're doing today? You know, how's the family today? We, you know, and it's piggyback on what you say, just get involved with each other. You know, start showing more love to each other. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? We see a brother on the street, speak to him. We see a sister on the street, speak to him. You know what I mean? And we, we start doing that. I think we can get out of that narcissistic mentality that it's not just about me, it's about other people. You know, I've stated before. You see a, a traffic stop, stay there. Don't go nowhere. You know, people are home, home. <laughs> people home. People want to call you, you know what I mean? Let them know that people are watching you. Mm-hmm. Let them know, and more important than that, I got your back. You know, so person in the car, I got you. See, that out. I got your back, my man. Camera rolling. Yes. Yo, you know what I mean? That's love. You know how that's going to transcend? Well, at least I hope it yeah, will yeah. transcend. So, yo, somebody actually cared about me today. They said, yo, I got your back. We're going to make sure that you going to drive away from this scene. Can I interject real Please quick? Do. Real quick. Please do. Um, because you touched on that, I don't want to lose my train of thought. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is before the uh, cell phone cameras got prevalent, you know, and when I was over there in Hunter Park, right? And, uh, uh, yeah, and it was a sister that lived across the street. But one night, because she's the bartender, mm-hmm. so she used to come back, you know, come on me. And one night, she, she pulls up, mind you, she pulls up in front of her fucking crib, yo. And the boys pull, they come behind her. Mm-hmm. And I'm on the porch, 
And it wasn't all so no, no lust type of shit. This was all what you're speaking about. This was all some what, what we speak about uh, as well. Yeah, and, and community. Mm -hmm. You understand? I'm a brother on the block. That's my sister. So, pardon me. When um, they pulled her, and I saw it was kind of, it really wasn't no need to do it. Mm -hmm. So I stood out there for a while, and um, I said, hey, sis, you okay? <laughs> And uh, she, she, you know, she was kind of, kind of frazzled a little, yeah. obviously. Yeah. But you know, she, she was just letting know that you did. Yeah, yeah. I'm letting them know too. Yeah, and I'm standing there. They look at me, and I'm mm -hmm. looking at them. I'm still standing there, like motherfucker. You ain't gonna do nothing. You ain't gonna do nothing wrong where nobody sees it and nobody says nothing. You said it's early in the morning, too. Right here. Early in the morning, you do it. No, uh, yeah, this is like late night. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. She's already won by side. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean. Yeah. And, and <laughs> that's the crazy part. Once you show your ID, if you have to do that, what else is there to say? You didn't do anything wrong with that. Mm -hmm. What else is there to say? So who knows what they would have done to her if I didn't let my presence be like that. That's what I'm getting at. Pick it back up, dude. Go ahead, brother. Yeah. I apologize yeah. for that. Somebody did that for me once. I was, uh, um, well, I actually used to live on the street. And um, I was sleeping inside of this abandoned car. And the cop, you know, somebody else had called in and so forth and so on. And I was always at the same car, so when my pick was my car, they just didn't move. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I used to get my food from this pizza shop, and the cop was, you know, came over one day, and they wasn't harassing me, they just, you know, every now and then they check up on me. And, you know, they was asking me, you know, they was cool, they was real cool, I mean, yeah, they was real cool, you know, I mean, they said, oh, we just got a call, we know you're here. We just, you know, came out and checked up on the the, the, uh, the sister came out of the pizza shop where I used to frequent about food. She said, oh, she said, leave that guy alone. He's, he's okay. She said, hold on, sis. He said, we're, we're not doing anything. But I appreciate the fact that she yeah. really spoke up for me. Absolutely. You know, and that's what we use that, and that's what we got to start doing. You know, we got to start uh, 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 looking out of our little windows and so forth and so on. Let them know, we got your back. We got your back. You're not going to do anything, you know, to her or you're to him, and that no one's not going to see because we're here. And I used to that will stop all that. And plus, it'll you know, show we tell them, though, say, yo, someone actually cares about someone love me. So then when someone steps on your foot, you say, oh, my bad. You say, sorry. You know, and that's what we got to start getting back to. You know, you know what I mean? You know, because I think, I can't speak for everybody else, but I think that we, we really believe we're just out there by ourselves. Every time we go out of the house, it's all about, oh, I got to protect myself. I got to watch for this. I got to watch for that. You know what I mean? And, 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 and it's me against the world. Mm -hmm. You know, we got to get out there with talent. You know, where it's me against the world, where now it's us together against yeah. against evil. It's just good against evil. I'm mean, keep this keep it real simple. You know, it has it's not an ethnicity thing. It's good against evil. If you're evil, we can't tolerate that in society, no matter what ethnicity you in. So we will try to chop that all off. Yeah. You know what I mean? Come together and just flourish. You know, you talk, in numbers. Yeah, you talk about the ghetto. We should, it should be together. We should be together because we should be looking after each other. You know. We don't want to be here, 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 and here dispersed and then anything can happen to us because we're by ourselves. No, we're all in the same community. No, we're not going to let certain things happen because we're all together. You know what I mean? And as I say, just like I talked about, I, I hope it doesn't die out. I hope it doesn't die out. I hope this is an awakening where people say, you know what? Especially black people start saying, you know what? We have to start coming together. Listen, we, we can't stop letting these social bills. We can't. We got to stop the, the, the black and black crime that's happening right on our block. We got to stop the drug deals. We got to stop the rape, the molestations, all that. All this stuff happens in our community and it's like, uh, it's cool one it doesn't happen to me. No. No. You're not going to duck no children. No. No. You're not going to say, look, I stop when I see these dudes trying to talk to the young girl. I say, yo, that's a, that's a young girl. I, I but all that that you're speaking about is the mentality. That's, that's all, everything that you mentioned falls mm -hmm. under mentality. We got to change it. We always yes, speak sir. about that. Yes, we got sir. to change. Now, go ahead, brother. We're going to chop it because I know we've been doing it for a long time. And, you know, I want to get everybody last little piece. But I'll just know. say, like, picking off what the brother was saying, like, when oppressed people, no matter what country in the world, they show sick characteristics from their oppression. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, when you oppress, like, you, you'll you find, like, most black people, most a lot of black people it took me to get my 30s to realize that most black people was pro-white and it, it broke my heart but this is you it take a while to understand this you know you young and you wild and radical you think everybody's in this mode mm -hmm. but they not so it's just like it'd be like some people be scared afraid to be black 
the, the show love and nationalism. Like, you know, like it's not being anti-white. It's not, it has nothing to do with that. To be black and love black and all the, the, the and, and encase yourself with it. People be scared of like somehow it's like you're you are you are racist. You're you're like no, no. Like, yeah, that's what he does. Yeah, but that's that's not, this is this what I mean. This is what I mean. We in America, we don't want to play the game. Everybody understands that like these groups got to stick together. Anything you see that any group got, they got it by sticking together. And we don't understand this. Like we want to, like you know, what I mean, we want to uh, piggyback on. Whatever we perceive as a success from another group and go hang with them, and it'd it be disheartening. Like, you see, like, the black people that start doing well, yeah, I'm about to go, they want to move to a white neighborhood. Yeah. I mean, like, like, you know what I mean? Like, dude, soon you lose that job, you come away back with us. Why? Right? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't be understanding it, but you know, it's like the white standard. Like, you know what I mean? That's what it'd be. Yeah. And it'd be, it'd be brainwashed in you that whatever's white is good. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you almost, every move they make, you chase them right behind it. You know what I mean? You, you move out the suburbs with them, and soon they know that that suburbs is ripped off, and they trying to go uh, gentrify certain parts of them, North Philly, West Philly, yeah, South Philly, and they, and they run right back down there. When they run right back down there, you stuck on the suburbs, yeah. you can't afford them taxes no more. They move right back in, like you know, you chase them behind. Where they going? You one step behind. They was you really not integrate. They not going to consider you really part of them. Now, I don't think people understand that, man. But like, you definitely got to get back to being nationalistic, thinking black. Doing everything black, you know, having some quality and what we have. People, we think we, I think we don't think we're people of quality. I don't, I don't understand. I don't yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? I like, like you know what I mean? We, we, we offer something that no other people offer in the world. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You know, even get that with genetics, man. We got a two million year jump on them. You know what I mean? In this world. You know what I, mean? I don't think people understand that. People talk about oh, white people been here, we can't do this. Like, no, they've been in America, whatever. We've been in this world. The black man is the original man. We've been in this world two million years before they even came in existence. You know what I'm saying? So we need to get back to lead this world as we once did. Come on, brother. Chris. We can't be too prosperous. This we showed. We do too good. They coming and they burning your stuff down. Rosewood. Bring it on. Tulsa. <laughs> the Red Summer 1919. We came back from the first great war thinking that, okay, we earned a position in society. And they like, oh no. Hang it. Lynch him. Get the real brother. You know, they. But I feel you. Um, we we, we, we got to do it. We got to start building community. We got to build community. If, if it's not, if we're not invited to the party, we need to throw a party. Um, I worked with a brother, um, and we was at a spot, and it was like, yo, you always got my back. I can always count on you to come all the way across the club to get my back. And he's like, how do you do it? Now, I'm like, because I got to watch you. You're my brother. I got to watch you. And I'm hoping you're doing the same for me. And, and that's that community. You know, when, when we walk out the door, like you said, I got your back, brother. Hey, sister. How you doing? No nod. I acknowledge you. I acknowledge you. I'm going to give you a default level of respect. What you give back to me is going to dictate how I treat you. Um, chasing the standard. We got to create our own standards. You know, I, I remember I was, I was, damn, I was, and I'm glad my mom checked me. I was three years old, and I wanted hair down my back, and I didn't want it to be curled. And, and three years old. But when you watch television, and you become indoctrinated, and I, I was broken hearted. She said, yeah, I ain't never going to be like that. Get that up right now. And I, I gave it up. And I shaved that. You know? But, it, you know, it's that cognitive dissonance that we encounter when we find out that something isn't the way it's going to be or it's not the way it was or not the way, you know, we thought it was. And and that's what the, 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 the future minority, a.k.a. Caucasian, are going through. That's why you have the the, the the other side, the red state saying we want to make America great again. Because they know that everybody that's not white is going to outnumber them by a certain year. So they trying to control that. They trying to maintain the status quo. I'm sorry, what you said? 2060 is the number of 2050. I heard 2050. But it's coming. No matter what the year, it's down the road. It's like, you know, you driving down the highway 60 miles per hour, you hit the brakes. You know, you you want to know that I did the necessary maintenance to handle this. 
so I can stop and I can change my course of action. I, I knew this was coming because I experienced this in the past and I made the necessary precautions to change that, to change the course of action. It, we gotta learn. We gotta learn. And, and we all in this pot together. And they get upset when we rise up and dissent. Like, we don't like this. We don't like that you taxing us, but we don't have no vote over in England. So we're going to rise up and we're going to throw your property in the in the, in the the harbor. And we're going to have a tea party. But then when we do it, oh, what about black on black crime? All crime is proximate. All crime happens in the community. You don't commute to commit a crime. You commute to go to work. When you do dirt, you looking to commit a crime of opportunity, and the opportunities manifest themselves closest to you. You're not going to buy a transpass, buy a car, catch the train to go commit a crime. But they try to say black on black crime. Oh, but you kill each other more than police do. Come on, man. You're just trying to diminish the movement. Oh, oh all lives matter. All lives matter. Well, where, where, where the blue lives matter when the two cops, two bills got killed yesterday? Where's the outrage in that? Because he didn't get killed by someone that looked different. I think you have to cut you off. You call out the thing with Chick Fil A. No, uh, man. They, they, they wear shirts that said "Blue Lives Matter" on the back. And check out, like they never get a dollar from me. Hey, fuck the lives matter. Stop killing chicken. Anyway, fuck that. Yeah, I really like your chicken sandwich. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We touched the one blatant with it. <laughs> they so blatant with it. They can't be. Come on. They Why should they be though? They got the complexion. You know they can have it now. However, we can stop that as well. Yeah, but don't with the, you, you touch the one. <laughs> Let's keep it 100. It's not about them. It's really about us. Us collecting, being collective, coming together. We can stop all the bullying. The bullying yes. within our community. And the bullying has come from outside community. That's the answer. It's just very simple. It's not hard. You know what I mean? We got to get back to coming together. We got to get back to, as I say, just speaking to each other, letting them know we got your back. No, it's not. We're, we're here together. I live on the same block you do. We're together. I'm the same you as you. We're together. Anything that affects you, like that. Look, if it's a fire at your house, guess what? It's going to come to my house if the fire ain't going to stop it. So, and that's how social ills are. Mm. You know what I mean? And that's what we gotta keep going. Mm. You know what I mean? And that's like Kareem said, I pray this doesn't die. You know, for me it's not. For me now I'm energized. Now I, I, I wanna go out and, and speak to more people. Yes. I wanna let them know. You know what I mean? Look, I got you. You know, we the same, brother. You know what I mean? And that's what it's all about. Maybe if I start doing it more, someone else will see. You know what I mean? And let them know, yo, when there's a when there's a traffic stop, I'm right here, my man. You cool. You know, we here. It's a process. Yeah. You know, and the whole point is if you're doing the right thing, you shouldn't have an issue about people looking out for other people. And that's all it is. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? What's just wrong with the light come on? <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? And that's what it's all about. You know what you're doing? Look, if you got the, if you're a quote unquote good cop, you should care less of this tip rolls around you. Because you're doing the right thing. You know what I mean? So do the right thing. You ain't got to worry about it. Okay, Spike. <laughs> right? It's just, you know, it's, yeah. it's, it's very yeah. simple. If you're doing what you're supposed to do, you ain't got to do mm -hmm. nothing. You ain't got to worry about anything. But it starts with us. We got to start within our own community. You know, it start with these, the small baby steps. You know what I mean? Speaking to your neighbor. You know what I mean? Saying hi. You know what I mean? Let look, look, I got you. You know, just saying words of encouragement. Yeah, yeah. yo, yeah. love you, brother. Have a good day. Love you, brother. So you don't even know me. No, but I love you because you look like me. You a black man just like me. So maybe when that brother... Uh, walks down the street and there's a little issue. He'll say, "You know what? It ain't that deep, brother. I love you. Y'all you know, don't have no beef with you. You know what I mean? My beef is not with you. You know, and that's what we got to get to a point. You know what I mean? Where hopefully out of this, this will this come when we get as as brother Reem talking about that black love that we used to have. You know, where we just I just got love for you because you're black. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just that simple." You know what I mean? I got your back. You know what I mean? And we can start just just tearing down all this stuff that's happening in our community. You know, coming together. Black men, we got to start wild enough. We got to start it. You know, that's what we're missing out in our community. You talk about how when we make it, you know, we move out to the suburbs. So forth. Black men got to start saying, yo, man, I got a responsibility, not just to my family, but my ethnicity, because I know you don't like these communities. We're not there yet. You know what I mean? But I got a responsibility. 
then I mean, we got to be seen. You know, we're not seen in our communities. You know, we make we move out. No, we want to see somebody that 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 mean. You know what I mean? So forth and so on. But this, this is where we got we got to be at. And I say, I just pray it doesn't uh, die. But I can't um, control the masses. But I can't control me. So I know for me, I, and I thank y'all, brother. I thank you for this form because I, I had to do some soul checking. You know, and I need to go out there and and, and go hard. We all do. You know, to show this love because maybe if they see me showing some love, they say, "Yo, brother, right there." You know, we know this guy. You know, he's just doing some love. We think, you know, we just show some love. You know what I mean? And that's what it's all about. When we start showing that love and our ethnicity and our prayer community, when we start saying, you know what? Get rid of all that hate. Get rid of all that anger. All that animosity. All that killing each other. You know, a couple of words. <laughs> Camaraderie. Mm. Solidarity. Mm -hmm. We could also say community. We could also say mentality. We could also say spirituality. We could also say positivity because we all be talking about these things. You know, these these entities are extremely important that that we're missing, and we need to, as you said earlier, get back to that. Like you know, part of it. Like do really even understand what that is? Okay. I don't think so. No. <laughs> yeah, playing Madden online together, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Exactly, you know what I, mean? I don't think they get it. Like, you know what I mean? This is what comes into community as well. This is what sparks community. You know what I'm saying? So, like, your know, brother would say, you know, you speak to the, the people uh, uh, on your block, uh, and not even just on your block, anyway. There we go. Everybody makes eye contact. Anyway, there you go. Even if I don't have eye contact, I still do that. I'm making a, 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 a conscious effort to do it. Whenever I see a sister or a brother, I'm speaking to them. You know what I mean? And and usually it, it turns out to be a mini conversation if we don't know each other. You know what I mean? And that's what it's called. You know what I mean? Regardless, I don't care if I see uh, Mr. Dan next door and say, you know, how you enjoying the weather, Mr. Dan? You know what I mean? And I had a a, a, a cat that uh, it's my man. He, he's a good natured dude. He's just a little uh, misguided. And uh, you know, he said what he said to me. You call him Mr. Well, let's like, understand. I'm motherfucker, he's 70 years old. <laughs> <laughs> this person's your age. Yeah, oh, he, she, I, I, well, I say, this guy, I'm telling you. Man. He just programmed it different way. That's all. Yeah, but you know, he know better. He probably, you know, he just this guy. And I just said, I said, damn right, what you mean? He's 70 years old. You're young in the age where y'all could have played together for saying his kids. You know what I mean? Or y'all kind of. Your old head, the only five years old in you. Right, right, That's right. one thing. He talks right. like your parents. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it could be your parents. Somebody that's really old enough to be your father. Yeah. 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 If you're not taught, you don't know that. Yeah. Yeah. You know, not these young brothers are not. You know what? He's not no brother. He has been taught. Bro. He's just this guy. You know what I mean? He he's yeah. got a false bravado. I ain't called him no more. I'm like, motherfucker, you stupid. Like, yo, I'm talking to you right now. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's dumb. You're getting a radio from somewhere. I was a person. How do we say it? How do we say it? Ego. Remember the last joke you had? Narcissism. Ego. That's the like dumbest that. shit on the planet, man. Mm -hmm. That that's that reeks of <laughs> insanity. Uh, insanity and immaturity. Yeah. Yo, when you're a teenager, when you're early twenties, so be it happy. When you get to a certain spot in your life, brother, that got to come. Sister, that got to go I see it, but the sister is more for the place. I'm sorry. I don't know about anybody else. I'm just saying, I know the sisters have it. I understand where it comes from. It comes from the systematic situation that the government put them in, where they had the household and things like that. So they do have the ego. However, you must understand the nature of the spirituality and the nature of the black man, the black woman, and the black child, and how the, 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 the family structure is built. And you got to get rid of that damn ego. Because you can't fight no man. You can't fight no man. That's the point. Man, woman, child. You understand what I'm saying? Osiris, Isis, the creator. Of course. Man, woman, that's the point. Let's chop it off. Anybody last words? We're going to chop it off, man. We'd be here for fucking five hours, man. This, this is a hot topic. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm you not going to say that. It's whatever, whatever. Get it on. I want to wrap it up with what you said. Um, that I forgot. So I'm done. <laughs> no, I'm done. I'm going to keep it real. All right, well, yeah. I'm going to say something. Go ahead, bro. <laughs> Prayerfully, when you watch this this wolf, 
inspire you to, to be better. I, I, I implore you to go out and do something today that you didn't do. Speak to someone that you didn't that you don't know today. Speak to a neighbor that you haven't spoken to today. Try to make amends with a family member, a friend, or something. Even though they did you wrong, say, you know what? I, I forgive you. It's all about that. I ain't saying you gotta sit them down and, and you know have great bread with them. But get get rid of that, you know, because it, it presents a division in us. We need to really start analyze it and say, you know what, I want to make improvement. I don't like to use the word change to change the word, so I always like to use improve. We make improvements in our ethnicity, in our community, that prayer people will get back together, and you'll start seeing how your life as an individual will be better because of it. So that's what I'm referring to today. Please, please, please. I you don't say please. I don't want to talk about it. That's good. <laughs> you know, but I'm, 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 I'm really am begging black people today to really start focusing on loving black people. I love the fact that you talked about that. We got to get back to loving each other, not just ourselves, but the stranger that we don't know, the neighbors on our blocks. You know what I mean? And tell them when we say them, love them. Yeah, you get some uh, uh, puzzle faces every now and then. You know what I mean? But it doesn't matter. So we got to start telling people, look, I love you, bro. I love you, sis. Have a great day. You know what I mean? So forth. So we, please, I'm, I'm, I'm begging you. Please, let's try to start doing that and start watching this come together. Start seeing these social ills start immediately just getting the feeling back. So that's fine. Black Lives Matter. So, what's up, black Lives Matter too. Not Black Lives Matter only, and that's what a lot of people stuck on, thinking that because we are pro-black, we are anti-white. No, I can have a, a Android and an Apple. And I don't really, I don't really caught up in that. Like we are the ones getting killed. So, Black Lives Matter. Yeah. Yeah. And I want to say, uh, piggybacking off of, uh, of, of, you know, let's rid ourselves of the animus towards each other. You know what I mean? Um, we got a lot of that going on. And, and basically, it's not only gender wise, it's just afloat amongst us, regardless. You know what I mean? And, which is so damn retarded. You know, listen. <laughs> I hate to listen. And once again, I don't ever want the system. When, they, when y'all see us, you know, I don't want you to ever think that we bad. We always say that. We, I want to reiterate that. You know, we love y'all. We love yes, all we do. We do. Love and, all black people. And yes, and the thing that is, love all people. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> and the thing is, because of the fact that the sisters are running major, the majority of the households of ours. I always love to speak to them and try to get them to get it. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, we talk about the, the ego situation. That's a big uh, problem right now. That's why a lot of the division is in play. Because, you know, a lot of you hear, a lot of people say, oh, yeah, well, they won't let a man be a man. They won't let a man lead. Well, you can't let me do shit. If I'm a man, <laughs> I know that. I'm a leader. That's right. You understand? Yeah, know that's right. I'm going to enforce that. Mm-hmm. So we have to get back into that. And the sisters are raising these young brothers. So you have to understand that you have to impart that to the young brothers for them to be leaders. If you want leaders, male leaders, and that baby father, quote unquote, or baby dad, whatever you want to call it, is not around. You don't want to impart that to your son. You have to impart to him to be a leader, to be strong. Mm. You understand? Because the cat, if he's not there, he's garbage. And he can't teach that young brother. You know what I mean? So you're there to do that. Mm. So we don't want to emasculate that young brother, which happens often because these sisters are so angry at the man. They take it out on the young man. You feel me? That young man is already a faggot. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, you know, part of the language. <laughs> he's already, he's already a homosexual, right. and he's and he's once again emasculated. You feel me? Because of how he grows up, and, and what is imparted upon him from the one that raised him, which is a woman. She can't be the stronger gender. However, this cat is seeing that. So now, when he comes up, that's what he is, and then he wants to hit the woman. You feel me? Well, we already know from coming up in our uh, 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 generation 
than what you don't do because that would cause you to be a homosexual if you hit a woman. You don't do that. You understand? Okay. That's like another uh it, we can another do that too. Yeah, yeah, we can do that too. Hey man, you know, we just you know what? I do wanna thank I do wanna thank uh 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 Brother Hakeem from Black and New Bells mm. for uh putting us on and yes, yes. yes. big up brother Hakeem. Yes. And uh uh Love you. Uh, uh brother Tyson and, and brother AJ for uh doing the video uh, uh editing and things of that nature. All the brothers, brother Levi, all y'all cats, man. Uh, yeah. Black and No Bells. Huh? I gotta get back down there. I ain't been down there in a minute. Yeah, yeah. Definitely peace. Much love, and love. I appreciate y'all. And respect. You know what I mean? Um, there you have it. Black like Men's Dialogue is signing off. Hopefully we're able to um, spark the minds of brothers and sisters to be able to continue to have these type of conversations within their own circles and each one teach ten. Until then, next week we'll come to you with a few more topics. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Until then, God bless, love is love. Peace. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah that is. Please wake up.